September was my 11th month on Etsy. It's almost been a year. Yes, I know. Oh, by the way, I will make a one year update and the results were so, so again, but stay until the end of this video because I will share what I'm doing to my listing photos. And also I have a very exciting announcement in September. I actually added zero listings and that was because I was wrapping up my time in Asia and coming back, settling down back in Vancouver. Yes, I'm back at home. This is my home office and I'm so happy to be back at my desk. My visits were 755, so a lot less than last month, but it's okay. Conversion was the same. Total items sold was 19. Total revenue was 262. I didn't run any ads this month because, you know, I thought I don't I just don't think it's really working for me and I wanted to just see what my shop could do without the ads, so I didn't run ads. Net profit was 220. I received 213 in the bank and I spent $52 on outsourcing. And I'll talk about this more later. The really, really interesting thing about September is that in the first 12 days, I only made two sales. So look at this first 12 days, only like two sales. And I want to show you the conversion rate. Look, so September 1 to September 11th, 0.7. 7% and then from September 12th to September 30th, it was 3.6% and I made basically all my sales from September 12th to September 30th. And you know what? I, in the first 11 days of September, I was so bummed out. I was thinking, okay, this is so weird. Why am I not making sales? And honestly, it could be a lot of factors. Maybe this was just an anomaly. I have no idea. But overall this month, the results have been similar to last month. I mean, overall conversion rate is like around 2.5, which is similar to August and July. If you have any theories on why my orders and why my conversion rate was so low at the beginning of September, let me know. And I actually was thinking, about taking a break from Etsy because at the beginning of September, I was still working on updating all my listing photos and everything. And actually I didn't make any new listings, but in September I did redo about 10 of my listing photos for products that already exist in my shop. And in the last two months, I've been redoing all my listing photos. So I think I have about maybe 15 to 20 to go out of the 64. Right now, I haven't seen too much of a difference in my conversion rates, but I think I probably need more time and I need more data because I just started doing it like August and September. If you didn't watch my last month's update, I did talk about why I'm changing all all my listing photos and it's because of two things. Etsy's listing photos are now all cropped to a square size. So I am keeping the same dimensions um, like a rectangle, but I'm making sure that everything fits into a square when it's cropped. So I make sure everything is in the middle and the sides are just kind of like empty space. And I would highly recommend you watch this video by, by Christina Nicole because she talks about the dimensions in a lot more detail. And that's the one I watched and I was like, wow, this is really useful for learning about what I should do with the dimensions with this new square crop thing that Etsy is doing. Another reason why I'm changing all my listing photos is because apparently you can't use the Canva logo in your listing photos. And I learned this from that Jessa B her video was also really useful. And so I've been redoing all the listing photos and changing the Canva logo to edit in Canva instead, but it's still like a circle. <laughs> and yes, I am working with my Canva assistant. So last month she was working on updating listing photos and helping me redesign some of them. Right now, the main changes other than the dimensions thing and then the Canva logo thing, the main thing I'm changing is making better mockups and editing my listing photos so that they stand out and are beautiful. And for each type of product that I have in my shop, I would look at the competitor photos and see what are they doing? Okay, why do I think this is working well? Um, maybe I should do this for mine. And I've been revising all the listing photos that way. So taking a look at competitors, making way better mockups. And I've been using Mid Journey for this and also just using Canva in general to make prettier mockups, adding shadows, changing the font slightly so it looks more aesthetic. And you know, the good thing about having someone else help me with this is that she comes up with designs 
and she arranges things in the listing photos that I wouldn't even have thought of doing. When I look back at the old listing photos that I made in like November, December, I mean, yes, they did convert well, but I also think my first three months on Etsy, it's kind of an anomaly. Like I think I had just, I was like on Etsy's good side. I was on the algorithm's good side. After that, my conversion rate went a lot down. So I think in terms of my listing photos at the very beginning, I think they were so, so they weren't the best, but I think definitely now as I'm redoing all the listing photos, August, September, and I'm going to hopefully finish redoing all the listing photos this month in October, I do expect to see an increase in my conversion rates because the listing photos are honestly just so much better. Also, if you follow me on Instagram or you're part of my email newsletter, you might know that I've been secretly working on a Etsy listing photos mini course. This is going to be a resource that has videos and pre-made templates, and it's going to help you make the best Etsy listing photos because actually, you know, 3,000 of you have downloaded my really ugly Etsy listing uh, to photos template that I made back in January. That was the quality of the listing photos I was making in January. And I'm so surprised that so many of you downloaded this. And I really see that it is something that is needed because if you have the best product, but you don't have good marketing for it, the product is not going to sell no matter how good the product is. You need to have good listing photos. And I would even argue that you should spend even more time on listing photos compared to the actual product. So right now I'm still in the creating phase of this mini course, but I wanted to announce that you can now pre-order this mini course and there will be a two hour live workshop. This is a bonus workshop that is only going to be for people who pre-order this course. You'll be able to ask me questions during this workshop and I'm also going to audit your Etsy listing photos. So you can pre-order this course now. There's a link in the description box and it has all the information about what you're getting and when you are going to get it. Okay, I feel like I have to talk about this because this is new, the share and save. It's been out for a while. Basically, if you don't know already, Etsy will take 4% off the order total off your Etsy bill on orders placed using your unique link. So essentially it's just saying that if you yourself can drive sales and traffic to your own shop by sharing your own link with people, then you're gonna save a little bit of money. And I think this is great because it really incentivizes people to go out and promote their own thing. It could be Pinterest, it could be on their social media, it could, you know, just printing it on the, your business card and I don't know, like telling your friends because before, no matter how people found your shop, whether it was through Etsy search SEO or through you promoting it on your social media, it's the same fees. But now you save a little bit more if you are able to drive the sale yourself. So I would definitely take advantage of this. I myself don't share about my shop anywhere else. It's literally just on Etsy. I don't have any social media for it. So I personally am not gonna use this, but I think definitely if you have Pinterest or you have an Instagram or TikTok promoting your shop, then use this. This month, my focus is going to be adding 10 new listings. Now that I'm back home, I can really focus on Etsy. And you know, I have a video that came out last week on failure in business. And I was talking about how I just wasn't sure if I wanted to continue with Etsy, but I actually really do believe in in my Etsy shop and I think I felt jaded for such a long time because my results were so good at the beginning and then they were so bad later on and I felt so discouraged that my shop tanked and never went back to the original success that it was but I really do believe in my shop and I believe my products are great so I really want to continue with this shop at least until the end of the year and I definitely want to see if I can get a similar result in January so I will continue my focus will be redoing listing photos for the rest of the listings adding 10 more listings and also making this Etsy listings mini course by the way if you have suggestions or if you have questions about listing photos leave them below in the comments because right now I am working on making the resources the templates and the videos for the course. So if you have anything that you want me to include in the course, then comment below. And remember, you can pre-order it now and you get a bonus two-hour live workshop with me. 